What's up, guys? Papa Truth here right now alongside with Spyro. What's up, Spyro? Good. Yeah, there's a reason why his name is Spyro, guys. You know why? Oh! There it is. Where's the deck at? Where's the deck at? It's right here. Um, it's really, the nightmares just made this deck come back so yeah. bad. Like, it's I just, heard. It's, we needed the help. Uh, I think now the deck could go first and second, depending on the situation. Okay, so, and you you went um undefeated yesterday, correct? Yeah, until I played a Pendulum FTK okay. on the almost second to last round, but he took so long that I lost the time. I felt like if um, I felt like if because it was a draw, he won the first game because he FTK'd me first turn, and then the second game he took uh, he took so long that. Like, by just, the time I beat him, they called time as soon as I was about to attack your game, and we didn't get to go to match three. Um, but I feel like I could have won that match, but you know, it happens. That's true. That's true. So damn, you would have. But you think you would have had him on game three, if anything? Yeah, I mean, the, the person who topped was one of a good friends of mine. His name is Fred. He's also a Yu-Gi-Oh judge. He was playing Dracos, and I really wanted to face him in the last round, but Did it that, that pendulum, that TK, just caught me off guard. So. All right, now you got me curious. Let's go straight to the profile, man. All right, so you have your standard super agents. Yep. Uh, without him, the deck wouldn't be anything. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Um, right next to him is his main man, Tough. Okay. Uh, the reason why I play three is because even if the situation happens where you go second, he's still a great card to go second with. So I don't know why people. I don't. I shouldn't say play him at two. I say three is the best number because he. You need him. You you need him for like turn two plays. He also helps out with Spiral Agent, right? Because yeah. he gives you the he, he also gives you a name. So there's six names in total, um, including the helixes. But that's later. Okay. Um, hand traps, three Ghost Ogre, and three Ash Blossom. No need of explaining. That they're yeah. just they're just so good. <laughs> they stop everything. Yeah. Um, the one ups I play is the Quick Fix. Rest in peace. <laughs> no, I wish it was that. The drone. I wish one. they both was at least at two. Destrudo for the Synchro plays with Ancient Fairy. Okay. Last Resort, Sleeper, and Master Plan, and my favorite card, Nightmare Corruptor, Ibli. She oh, is so Ibli. broken. Like, <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, during the Pendulum matchup, the second game I won because all I did was give them the Ibli and they couldn't summon nothing. Because they have they, to link, They have right? to waste the normal summon, but as soon as they normal summon, I use Sleeper to pop the two cards and then they just they just pass. They just like, That's insane. That's so, insane. So, um, Ibli's also good um, turn two if you got the right hand. Okay. Uh, because if you normal summon her, she can special double helix pointing to her and then you can do double helix effect to. Special. Yeah, it's a special. Or add, oh, whichever add. one. All right, not bad, not bad, wow. Okay. The spells, we got the standard three terraformings. Mm, AKA Upstart Goblin. Yeah, that's <laughs> literally the Upstart Goblin of the deck. Three uh, Foolish Burial of Goods. Uh, a lot of people like to play two to one. I play three because um, you like to see it. the nightmares require you to discard to do effects. And sometimes oh. you don't have the hand for it. Um, sometimes you have a last resort or a sleeper that you don't want to ditch. Mm -hmm. So instead you have one of these that are just dead, but you could just discard it just to go off. And they also help because you can send the, the continuous spell and the continuous trap to the grave, which helps the deck a lot as well. Okay, makes sense. It does um, make sense. The two ofs, I play two ravine. Oh, two ravines? Yeah, it's just in case, like, if I don't it's either I'm gonna add one from terraforming or I'm gonna draw one. So it's not a dead card, as the same reason is because if I draw both, I can use one for the strudel and one for the nightmare effect. That's true. Okay. The one of I play is Monster Reborn, no need explanation there. Yep. One for one because it's broken in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Uh, Rhoda. Rhoda. Upstart for consistency. Okay. Soul Charge because if you draw this with, with Super field? Agent yeah. and Drone is game. <laughs> that is so true. Foolish Burial. Throw that quick fix in there. You play the one with Spire Resorts. I wish that was at three. Oh man, I miss it I would have so still, I would have still. Just two, playing. just give me one more. I would have been still playing Spirals. Oh, uh, one big red. Um, really? People don't like me playing one, but I feel like I'm only gonna search for him and Resort. I feel like this is uh, playing two. I, I side, a, I might side the second one and might try the whole um, Isold 
the Noble Knight one. Okay. But I haven't tried it yet. But it's it's still a good. It's just because you only can resolve this once, so it's like having it in hand is a waste. But if you do play two, you can always pitch it for a uh, nightmare. Yeah, but the, the the nightmare Griffin, he can reset this face down. That is true. So it's like it's kind of like having two in a sense. Okay. Um, one mission because this card is useful now. It's not bad anymore. <laughs> Um, a card I've been testing that's really good is World Legacy Succession. At one only? Yeah, because it's a once per turn. Um, it's really broken. So let's say I have a board and I have like a Trigate. Mm -hmm. I can special any monster from my graveyard uh, as, something as, long as, as long as it points to Trigate. So in case I don't have any more cards and I have this in my hand, mm -hmm. it finishes the co-link. So then I can actually have the negates the and lock. the banish and the lock. Um, makes sense, makes sense. So those are spells. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of spells. Yeah, the deck, they, they need it. <laughs> they need the spells. Um, the traps, I don't play in permanence because at the moment I haven't found any. I yeah, want to. they're like seven. But they're piece. very hard to get. Nobody wants to give them up. Um, but I play three rescues. Rescues are always good. Because in this deck, you can spam out master plan like crazy so she's always going to search you one of these and the continuous spell and you always want these engraved and some people don't know but when you do mermaids effect a special ibli from the deck mm -hmm. you can chain this from the graveyard to summon master plan to search again oh wow and then it yeah. comes out because you can't you can't uh special master plan from the graveyard if ibli's on board because you only can link something Oh, but if you do it last, so it'll come out it, first. Yeah, it comes out first, and then you do that play, and then you go into Goblin, and it just continues from there. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. And sometimes with Unicorn, uh -huh. uh, if you don't have anything to send back to the deck, you just, I just set one, and I just send this back, and then I just research it with, with Master Plan, so it's like I never left. It's stupid. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty dope and annoying. So it's 40 cards in the main? Yeah. Okay. That's 40. 40 cards. Uh, the extra deck is pretty the generic spiral stuff, except the only difference is in Nightmare support. Um, the one Ancient Fairy, mm -hmm. she's the... She was basically makes... You can either just play a regular spiral thing, or you could just go for the Strudel and do this and still get the same playoff. It's just different. It's, it's, it's just a different way. But she's really broken because her and Quick Fix are best friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best thing That's to search for. It, yeah. <laughs> Um, I play Black Rose for if I go second. Instead of doing Ancient Fairy, I do Black Rose. Makes sense. If it's problematic on the field. The yeah. only thing this doesn't work against is World Chalice. I hate World Chalice. World they, they Chalice just, is beautiful. They just destroy my deck. Like, I'm beautiful. dusting mine off, so it's coming out. I, have, so. I didn't face anything in the tournament, but there was one person playing it, and I was like, I hope I don't face him because I have to side. Um, we have the only XC that plays Silver Princess. Yeah, you have She's to. very... You have very broken. I play so many. I play so many spells. Yeah. There's no way bound. I'm not gonna top that. And and if and if I, it's either that or I top that one of these traps. It doesn't matter which one it is. It's just I'm gonna get a plus no matter what. And even if she sends anything to the grave, I can always firewall it to my hand. So. Okay. Um. Play the underclock taker because the only problem this deck has is when there's an ancient fairy and another monster, mm -hmm. we have nothing to get rid of the ancient fairy that's blocking the extra monster zone. Oh, so I okay. use any any other monster in this to make this to just get this out of the way. That's, okay, it makes sense. And then from there you just go off with your regular place. And everyone's favorite card, Mr. Helix. Yep. How many are you playing? Two. Two. Just two. Two's always a standard number for me. He's so broken. He's <laughs> always been good. And with the new World Legacy Succession and the trap card and the grave, the, this you can go off second turn and still do stuff. Even if you get ashed, if they don't game you, the next turn you can still play it again. This doesn't matter. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Now we go to the Nightmares. We play one mermaid. One mermaid. Uh, mermaid is basically... Your special summon out of the deck. Yeah, he specials Ibli to the field. Um, also, any cards that aren't um, co-linked with him, they lose a thousand attack. Uh, uh, uh. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, my sleeper becomes 1800, but with all the protection I have with Griffin and Trigate, it's just... It's hard to still get through, yeah, especially still, if sleeper yeah. still pops And then sleeper too. pops too, so it's like, you know. And the reason why is because you don't want your opponent to have anything. So you don't want anything pointing up to them. You don't want to give them a chance to come back. It makes so sense. So you want to do that. It does make sense. Goblin, which is... 
Yeah, the savior of my deck because now I don't have to play double summon anymore. Mm -hmm. So you um, discard a card and you get additional normal summon. And if he's calling, you draw one. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad, not bad. He, he really helps with the spiral plays because we only normal summon one time, but after that, that's true. It's like we need another normal. Um, all right, all right, all right. Cerberus? Cerberus is good as well. Okay. Cerberus is good because uh, he's right. just. He is part of the lot. Yeah, he, he, like, without him, I wouldn't be able to protect Trigate for shit. Like, he's just... Because Trigate, especially when you have him and Phoenix on Yeah, board. you have him here, uh, Trigate here, and Phoenix there, or Griffin there with a sleeper. is just... And most like, likely Mermaid on top. Yeah, Mermaid on the top. Always, Mermaid's always going to be there. Um, you can uh, discard a card and target a special summon monster your opponent controls, or a special summon monster general and pop it, mm -hmm. and then um, you draw one card. So sometimes, even if I, like if I'm facing Draco, mm -hmm. I still give him the Ibli, so I pop it with Cerberus, just so I could draw one. Makes sense. Because they're going to just tribute the Ibli for Masterpiece. So it's like... Okay, okay. Uh, Phoenix, same thing as Cerberus, except uh, she pops um, back row. Back row. Um, so, you know, discard one, pop one. If you do pop one and she's cold linked, you draw one. Uh, Unicorn, this guy, without this card... Beautiful. God knows that I hated playing Shuffle Reborn in Spirals. <laughs> so, no, I, I love this Because it was so bad. But um, this card really helps the deck a lot because there's times where you have a field spell and you have a master plan. So you discard with him. Mm -hmm. You send the field spell to the to the deck and then you you link you link these two to make um, either Firewall or you can get, or you just send this for Mermaid and then with Mermaid. You send Ibli and Master Plan and Goblin, but then when she leaves, you can add the field spell again because we only have one. So it's like he's the way to get two in general. Makes sense. Trigate, no need explanation here. He's just yeah, he's, he's just negation. super broken. He's super broken. Yeah, if he co links, he does a bunch of crap. Like he negates one, he negates any card effect and banishes the card. And during my turn, I can banish a card on the field and then double the damage and double the damage of any monster attack. Griffin, he's the, the most clutch card theme. in the game. Like he's just. I mean, yeah, Van. I game. faced in. Um, I think it was my um, my second game, my second second round. I mm. faced BAs, and all I did was summon this with Thanks. a sleeper and a, and a try. I had the whole lock, and he couldn't play. Yeah, he, he because you can't activate effects. Yeah, he, unless it's because he had tour guide in hand. He he summoned tour guide, and he didn't know what this did. And I to, and I he didn't ask me, so I told him, you know, you should ask me before you summon the card. You know, we've never seen it before. Um, so when he did the tour guide, um, he couldn't activate it. Then he tried to do Light of Sekka to draw two. To draw two. And I negated it with Trigate, and he tried to do something else. I ashed it. Like, I, it just, I just had him. He just couldn't do anything. It was a lock. It was a lock. Okay. Pretty dope. Firewall, because he just keeps... It's firewall. He it's just my keeps, baby. He just keeps making... He keeps making shit possible. Even at one. Even at still. one, he's still an annoying-ass card. Like, he went... This morning, he went up in price. Again. Wow. He went up... He went back... Now. Yeah, he went back up to $32. And Boreload for the in-case Boreload. Like, Boreload can only out himself. So it's like the only... Boreload a Boreload. And it's crazy. When you Boreload a Boreload to Boreload someone else, it just... It, they just get super mad. It's just... It's just funny. It's just... It's pretty you know, dope. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty dope. The side deck I made myself. It just. It's really my my side deck's mostly on what I feel I lose to the most. Yeah, like like I always tell you guys, your side deck is your preference. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I only make side decks based on what my deck loses to, not the meta. Like if I know I can be certain meta decks, I'm not gonna put it in there. So okay. I play to sphere mode, of course, because World Chalice kills me. They, they do the Christia, they do the Christia Netflix lock completely shuts me down. So I play these in case. So if they go first, I always, if I know I'm going second, I always put these in. Okay. Um, the one Regeki, if I go second, I usually side this with the um, Sphere Mode in case the War Chalice player can't make the Net Beast. I still have the Regeki to get over the board. Uh, two call by the Graves. Have to negate hand traps. It's just, it's obvious. I, ju I use it mostly against um, Ultra Guys the most because they're annoying as hell. Um, 
the other day when I, the day after I played an OTS, um, Ultra Guys beat me for first because their multi faker and that trap and the protocol was just very yeah, irritating. That own I, couldn't, I couldn't beat them. Um, three Forbidden Chalice. Of course, I have to. This is just really uh, good. This saves me from Imano Iwato. <laughs> so many games. <laughs> Um, my first match was against True Draco, mm -hmm. and he, at his end phase, he, he forbidden Chalice, his Imano Waddle. So then when it was my turn, I couldn't do anything. And I drew two of these in my hand, my first opening hand. So I chaliced him, and then I just went off, and then I just destroyed him. He just couldn't do anything. Makes sense. Well, I, I, I usually side this with another card that I'm going to show you in a second. Okay. Um, this is for Pen Magicians. Of course. I, I, hate, I hate them. Like, it makes just, sense. There's just, obvious uh, reasons why it's in there. Like if I have a twin twister in my hand, and a count, and a and a, and a and a mission rescue, and a sleeper on board, they're not beating me. Because I'm gonna discard the rescue, pop two back row, and if they try to do something else, I have sleeper to pop them as well. Makes sense. Um, I have one utility wire. I'm testing this at the moment. It's good against um Imano Lotto as well, but I don't want to waste the summon. That's true. So summon uh, uh, an agent, to either tough or super agent. But it's good if, it, if it, it's good as a search as well for quick fix. So it's not bad. But I'm just testing it at the moment. It's 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 doing it's okay. Right. It's, it's right. okay. It's, it saved me some games. and some games it was just dead. So it's it's like 50 50. Okay. My favorite card of all time is this card. Such a good card. This card. Stop this. Guys. Just kills True Draco. These together kill True Draco because this is to stop a Mono Motto or Majesty, and this is just to stop the True King's Return, the Apocalypse, whatever. Because going second, they're going to do it to pop your cards, and then you just pay half, and then they they can't play traps the whole turn. So that is crazy. Um, All right, because that's the whole. That's fifteen. At, uh, that's side. fifteen. Yeah. That's okay. 15. Okay. So not bad, not bad. You got me thinking about changing my side deck up now. Yeah. So, but no, no, it actually looks good. And now, uh, congratulations on going undefeated until, well, you came in second, right? Yeah, I came in second. You came in I, second. I was undefeated and I was like, okay, I got to win the next match. But um, even the judge, the judge was um, the judge was yelling at the pendulum player because um, he was, he took 10 minutes to resolve in the lower darkness. And I wow. felt like he was doing that on purpose. Just for time. And I was like, because the, the judge, who was also a close friend of mine, um, after the match was done and he had a draw, he told me that the guy had many dark targets in his hand. And he was like, he could just chose any dark target. So I felt mm. like he kind of did that on purpose because he knew I was going to beat him game two because I sided for him. Mm. So I kind of felt like I was kind of cheated, but it was it was okay, you know. Like you I still came in second. I still got second, so it's not that bad. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right. You're gonna be taking this to regionals. Uh, it depends. Uh, I want to get a per. I want to. I want to still find a way to uh, make this side deck perfect. I might change the utility wire to a third call by the rape all right, all right. just to uh just because hand traps are really scary well like they and it ash is. and ash will completely demolish my dad. like it just <laughs> if they ash at the right time is is game over for me look, i like how the deck looks but and uh for the spiral players out there like give this card a try it's really good like, you go. just one just world one. legacy suspension secession secession yeah. secession it's so good like it trust me i know it's good i play i play most, cybers yeah so I, most of the games that i played against people this definitely saved my ass every time like i would draw from a from a goblin effect i'd be like oh my god i'll mm -hmm. just do this and then special unicorn from grapes and discard a spot to send a card. There's it's so many things you can do with this. It's, but only one, because if you play two, it gets cloggy, and then it's once per turn. So it's it's alright. And you can well. also set it with Griffin as well. So. Oh, thanks again, Spy. I really appreciate it. Any shout outs? Um, well, to, to you guys. I mean, you guys, <laughs> you guys you. are always here in the same store I'm in. So, um, I really appreciate also the love. Also, to um, my teammates, my teammate Pablo and my teammate Joshua. My, my teammate Joshua, he's he's the king he's the king of cards man like this man can make any deck possible like he's he plays a 60 card deck called the, uh, the, the cake is a lie and if he ever wants to do profile on it send him my way send him my way but um he's very stingy about his place <laughs> like he doesn't like that's fair, that's fair. it's okay but um 
All right. Yeah. So. Oh, and shout out to uh, Zeno Zero. His store is amazing. There you guys go. Look at that. Right over there. I go Omega over there. What well, S has hot potatoes. <laughs> ah, they're playing a game over there. Yeah. But all right. No, Spyro, I appreciate it. Thank you for showing us your yeah, bag. Yeah, man, no problem. And uh, guys, if you guys like his profile, if you guys want to give him any ideas, let him know in the comment box below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. See you at the next video.